Hello, this is Jedi Steve, and this is the Compassion Campaign Everything Formula as it pertains to quantum jumping. Right here, first of all, compassion, I believe, is the most productive energy in the universe. It's the most productive energy in the universe. Um, somebody gets cancer, and then they find ways to attract all the different resources they need to save their lives. Or, so, but they knew for a long period of time they were supposed to have health, but it wasn't until it got to a bad level that they were able to catch up for the 15 years that it took to cause that cancer. Or, um, the Amber Law was created by a mother and father losing their daughter, and they did, they were, they took so much love with the anger and the hurt, and they combined it with love to help out other families so they weren't put in the same situation that they were put in, aligned with compassion. That amazing thing. But a lot of people teach it, few teach it, but out of the few that teach it, very few embody it. Compassion is the most productive energy in the universe. And with the formula, we have cause and effect. That's the beginning part of it. Cause and effect. C-E. And then the next one we have is humility. Cause and effect plus humility. It's that humility that we draw into when we're put in a bad situation so we don't get into that place. Oh, I, I can't. I can't. I, I, if I lived in California, I'd have more opportunities. Or if I could get out of this town, I'd have more opportunities. And it's not until the chaos, which is the third part of this, the chaos. Let me write the C down. Wait, wait, wait right there. Let me write the C down. It's that chaos. The chaos along with the other parts of the formula. It's that chaos that happens to us. It's that chaos that helps us dig deep inside. With this formula and the power of compassion, compassion and vulnerability, these are all superpowers if you're able to go in in a simple point of time. This is what, why a way that I cross-pollinated this. Michael Jordan used to do two things. He used to visualize the basketball hoops as being bigger. That's why he was able to score so many points over his career and at times because he visualized the basket being so big that the ball would just like go in there without any of his effort. So what I want you to do is I want you to visualize all your options that come to you with being aligned with compassion and you can just another thing that Michael Jordan did is when people wrote about bad things about him instead of like arguably why he was even playing that he was gonna be the best basketball player ever he would just like look at sports writers that are writing bad stuff like that and he would use it to fuel and motivate himself so you can have a little thing that happens to you or a big thing that happens to you that gets you to that point of compassion so what I am able times, sometimes I'm so sensitive because I'm living in that chaos, but I'm so disciplined that I can manage that chaos that something little happens to me and then I create a game-changing vortex of energy. And that's what I use the, the, the thing for. It. So, and the, the, all this equals compassion campaign, the pertinent word, and all, just knowing these words and talking about these words and embodying these words. Not just thinking, not just saying. It starts with a thought, then it goes into saying, and then it comes into embodying it. I am embodying compassion right now. Feel that compassion. There's also Sufuego beats and binary beats that are aligned with compassion. And you can listen to them while you're sleeping. Listen to them while you're on your computer during the day so you don't have to turn crazy dreadlocked out like me. You can be in the place that you are right now and embody compassion, which is even more important than saying the word, is it to embody compassion. And I hope this was very valuable for you and make this part of the compassion as you're sleeping, being aligned with that compassion and, and as you spend eight hours a night on average sleeping or if you could just spend one hour a day while you're, uh, while you're sleeping embodying cat compassion, it can be a very powerful thing. Even a moment in your life can change your whole life of being in compassion. Imagine if you were to do it for so much longer.